Okay, sixth grade, lesson 54. This is on reducing by grouping factors to equal one, which we'll talk about that, and then also dividing fractions. So, stay with me here for just a minute, okay, and just write this problem even though it may not make sense to you right now. It will later. So write this down. Two times two times three times five. Okay, now I'm using this little dot in the middle to mean multiply. You're going to have to write it differently, though, eventually. Huh? This entire problem it can't be really done mentally, right? Right. I mean, you could go 2 times 2 is 4. Yeah, four. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. But most yeah. of the time, they're not going to be this small of numbers. Okay? Yeah. So then, and then draw a line. Then I want you to write 2 times 2. Oh. Times three. I think I've seen this. Okay. Now, this may look funny, but you're going to learn how we got this and then how we got this in a little bit. Okay. But they're just trying to teach you this. Okay. As I was saying, um, you may not understand what this is about, but you will soon. Okay. But they're, so they're just trying to teach you something now um, before we get into it. Okay. So, did you know if I had just two over two, what would we say that equaled? One hole. One hole. So guess what we can do on this? You can either pretend, I mean, we can cross them out, or we can just go two over two means one. Okay? Two over two one. means one. Three over three one. means one. Is there anything under this one? Mm. No. So basically the answer to this problem is one times one times one times five. Which so equals five. five. So the answer to this funny looking problem is five. Okay, let's try another one. Got it? Okay, you don't have to write this one down, you can just look. Okay? Two times two times two times five. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. 2 over 2 becomes 1. Okay, and you can even just look at this, that means 1. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 1. 1. So, so what's the answer? 2 thirds. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now sometimes the numbers aren't going to line up. So for example, let's just pretend like this was 1. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Let's do, it. Was like, uh, Let's do it like this. Uh, seven. No, I'm trying to look at something. Let's say that was that. You can just even cross sideways. Eleven. Or you could have just done this one, but you have to connect two of them and draw a line to it through it. Okay, you get it? Uh huh. Okay, so that's the answer on that one. Okay. Now let's move to dividing fractions. Okay, remember how I was talking to you about we're going to do something like this, three-fourths divided by one-half. Do you remember what we do here when we're uh, dividing fractions? Oh, I think I remember. Okay. Uh, you, you reciprocal kind yep. of. You change it up yes. and then multiply it. Yes. Okay. It has to be, if I change this, we have to change the number to the right or the fraction to the right. You never change the fraction to the left. You've got to know that. Okay? okay. Always change the number to the right. So it would be 3 fourths times 2 over 1. Very good. Okay? And 3 times 2 is 6. And 4 times 1 is 4. And we reduce that and we would get 3 halves, which would be 1 and 1 half by the time we got done. Okay? So good job with that. Okay? But sometimes it's going to be in a word problem form. So listen to how they ask this. I'm going to write it up here. How many three-fourths are in one-half? Does that even make sense to your brain? No, it doesn't, does it? But what if I asked you this? How many fives are in 45? How would you figure out the answer to that problem? You would divide by... What would I divide? Uh, 45, I think. 45 divided by... 
5. Okay. And 5 times what equals 45? 9. So how many 5s are in 45? 9. 9. Okay, now, let's look at this fraction form. How am I going to find out this answer? Using the same tactics you used with 45 divided by 5, tell me what I'm going to write to get this answer, half and 3 fourths. How am I going to write the problem? Just like you wrote this problem, but write it using the fractions. Uh, I guess half divided by 3 fourths. Yes. 45 divided by 5, half divided by 3 fourths. So you just figured out how to do this problem, even though it's confusing, just by pretending different numbers were in there. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Whole numbers, because our brain can do whole numbers. We just can't do fractions sometimes. Okay, so now, what do I do to answer this problem? Uh, half times four over three. Perfect. This becomes the reciprocal, the number to the right, or the fraction to the right, and then we so just answer the problem. Four, four six, six, and that becomes two-thirds. Got it?